Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Gears of War 4 running on Intel Iris 540 graphics. Uh, this is the same graphics as found in the current MacBook Pro 13 inch, the base model, and we are running the game at 720p and the low detail preset. I did test this now with the dynamic resolution scaling, and I can confirm with that it doesn't drop below 720p, so on or off performance stayed the same. And in the benchmark, which appears to be pretty much a worst case for this game, um, the actual average through the benchmark was, I believe, about 14 frames per second. Um, this is actually a reasonable increase versus uh, HD 5, uh, 620, sorry, which averaged, I think, it was 11 and a bit. Um, but performance does seem to be actually quite a bit better in the game. Um, we'll move over to the game clips now. And here you can see in the bottom right we have the details. The frame rates generally between about sort of 15 and 35, 40 frames per second. Um, basically, if you're sort of looking into a wider open environment, then frame rates fall. Um, the worst for this in this little test sequence I've shot here is when I get on the mounted machine gun in a moment. And there where you're firing, you have a lot of muzzle effects and we're looking out over quite a large space. Um, we'll see here as we pan over to the right frame rates fall from about 20 all the way down to about 15 frames per second But I'd say if HD 620 was right on the cusp of being playable Iris 540 if you're committed to really wanting to play this game on a machine equipped with this Certainly in these early stages you'll be able to it may get a bit more marginal um, as we can see here, it's dropping below 20 frames a second later in the game. But for what I've experienced so far, I'd say you can just about get away with it. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.